Here's my first time really getting into playing Drift CE. I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, we are getting into Drift CE right now and I want to point out they have Sandbox, Quick Race, and Multiplayer, which you can play solo or just practice around on the track basically and against real people. But we're going to start off with just the career mode with with no tutorial. I played a little bit of the tutorial, so I know a little bit and I kind of know, I think I know what's going to happen basically in the beginning. But other than that, we're kind of just going raw into it. Oh, so you just start off here. I believe that had me drive around a little bit before, but um, is my Miata put all the way together? Um, well, anyways, one of the cool aspects is it's kind of like um, car mechanic simulator. It's definitely a lot easier. You don't have to work on near as much um oh work on the car yourself and it's kind of sweet like you see i can go and pick out a steering wheel of my choice um they're not really any of them the prettiest so i'm just gonna go with a basic kind of looks like a momo steering wheel if you're into steering wheels i know it's not everyone's uh cup of tea it doesn't look like in the tutorial i had just a um see over there i guess they don't give you that option when you choose not to um i'll just go with the cheapest seat because i'm pretty sure that's what they gave me um, hmm. Ooh, the samurai sword got to i could be basic but the samurai sword's hard. I don't care what anyone says. Um, I'll probably just go with, yeah, just a little ball with a gated type uh, look to it. Um, I'm not sure what happened to mine. Oh, I didn't take it, I guess. What is this here? Oh, it's showing I can put a different type of interesting let me get an engine real quick i thought it was in here yeah engine where's engines though and i believe you can build up your entire engine oh there we go duh complete engines um yeah i think we'll just put a little i4 in i mean it's a little miata it makes sense i don't know why you wouldn't put a little i4 in a miata all right let's move it in. all right so there we go i believe we just have can i get the transmission from here oh my the amount of time that would save in a um in a real mechanic scenario you can mount a transmission from the top side. I'm revolutionizing mechanics at the moment. Um, I'm not sure who's screwing in a rubber uh, rake. All right, we're right back into it. Now we are. Um, looks like I just have another seat to buy. Get that in there. All right, and now it's time to put the exhaust, yeah, the exhaust system, I believe is probably the, oh, what is that? Move car to lift, that's what, I thought I clicked that, I guess not. Um, there we go. Damn, no click sounds. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they can't all be uh, ultra realistic. I was trying to put it on the locks. What about that just screwed in? All right. Don't look at it as a realistic game because clearly it's not entirely realistic. Although it is pretty sweet in my opinion. I thought 
the dino was what you did next, but who knows? Maybe I didn't pay enough attention. Let's uh get a nice basic color. Um, I feel like NB Miatas kind of look nice with the yellow. Yeah, I'm not going into all that. Let's get the license plate. Hey, um, yes, sir. Um, I think the black rims with the, mm, maybe the white on white was the move. Yeah, let's keep it like that. And let's get into a single player race. All right, this is a little different. And I am going to transition real quick to me in a driver's POV. Thank you everyone for watching. Let me know if you want some more Drift CE. I'm sure I'll come out with some more videos, but comment down below how you feel about it. If you enjoy playing it, if you want to play it, I hope you know you can do anything you put your mind to. I hope you had a great Labor Day weekend if you're in the U.S. or a great weekend in general if you're anywhere else in the world. I love you. Thank you for watching. You can do anything you put your mind to. Deuces.